I'm in a process of uh, remodeling this living room here. As you can see, it's a huge living room, 1,000 square feet. But what I want to concentrate, I want to concentrate about this on this baseboard. You can see here, I already installed it on the wall. But what I want to do, I want to seal it. And what I want to seal really is the bottom, okay, the gap between the bottom of the baseboard and the floor and let me show you it's a bit difficult to see but there is a gap here you can see the gap now this gap i want to seal it because i don't want water to penetrate in and also i don't want bugs and dirt to go inside so the one i want to show you how i'm doing it very easily so the first thing i did i put a tape this is a paint tape here you can see the blue tape all over and now what I have to do is just to use a silicone you have to use silicone when you sealed between tiles and floor and baseboard only silicone let me show you what silicone I'm using using a GE tub and tile silicone seven years mold free waterproof seal link below so the first thing I'm going to inject silicone here on this area So as you can see, I just put silicone, inject silicone as much as I can around this area where I need to cook. Okay, and now I'm going to use a tools. It's called the Pro Cook tools. Let me show you. So what you see here is the three tools that I'm going to use. Okay, one, two, and three. This is three plastic that I purchased on Amazon are very powerful when you cooking or sealing everywhere. So here I'm going to use these tools the 90 degrees here in order to smooth it, force it inside the hole and at the same time remove the excess. What I'm doing, I'm actually taking these tools, as you can see here, 45 degrees with the baseboard and then I just move it, okay? So I can just remove the excess of silicone here and at the same time pushing the silicone inside as much as I can. Again, So I want to show you from this angle what really happened when I'm using these tools, as you can see here. Okay, so what I'm doing here, I'm taking these tools, okay, the pro cock tool, and I'm just moving it like this. And you can see here the amount of silicone I just get with that. I'm just doing a little bit of clean up here. I'm just cleaning the excess of silicone on the baseboard. So this is the last section really. Using these tools, moving it. We're really finished now. We just The only thing we have to do now is just to clean. Clean the area. I'm using it again. And there are silicone on the PVC board. You can see the amount of silicone here that I managed to clean. So again, I'm here just cleaning. So that's it, it's finished already. Let me show you the end result. So before we're going to remove the tape, from the floor here. I just want to verify everything is clean. So what I'm doing really, I'm going to use these 
paper towel that you can see here it's a bit wet and I'm going just to move around this baseboard to remove all the all the silicone so that's what I'm doing I'm taking it and I'm just clean everything I think there is but it's not really So here is another uh, little bit of silicone on the PCB as you can see there, let me show you. And I'm going to clean it with these tools with a sharp here, you can see there's edge here, the edge here. I'm going to do it, let me show you how nice it will clean it. So that's the way it, what the silicone I've managed to remove. And I can use all the edges here. You can use this and this side and this side just to clean the excess of silicone. So the only thing left to do is to remove the tape now. And I'm moving the tape here as you can see. So that's the way it looks after I remove the tape here and let me show you from close distance okay if you look at it carefully it's very difficult to see but there is no everything it's sealed everything is sealed here you don't see any gap here anymore nothing that's it close there if you look at that there nothing whatsoever so that's it so this is the way it's look and that's the way it's look from here thank you for watching this video